on your neck. That's some kind of magic ward, isn't it? Yeah, it's... sealing something away. Something? Um... What's up? When you said seal just now, Your Radiance, you were talking about the Shining Dragon, weren't you? Yeah. My mom gave me this to keep him sort of locked down in there. She said he's dangerous. I see. Perhaps that's why I've been unable to commune with him directly. Something wrong back there? No, sir. Nothing. If you say so. But this sealed power of yours, I'd think carefully on its nature. I'd likewise think on the seal's architect. What might have gone through her minds when she created it, hmm? Well, were you eavesdropping? And besides, what- w Wait, wait. Back up. You're talking like you... knew my mom. Hmm. We've been spotted! Enemy approaching! This should be far enough. We ought to be safe now. Sonia, Rena, are you two all right? I don't think I can move around much, but the haze is starting to clear a little. Oh, oh, dizzy. Sonia is recovering. Rena should be well again if she just rests. We really ought to get them help as soon as we can. If we could just get back to town... Stop. There should be no interruptions here. And now, boy, it's your turn. Huh? What are you talking about? The Shining Dragon. Bring him out. Wh How dare you make demands of his radiance! Get out of my way. Kirika! I... I'm okay. You'll be less than okay if you interfere again. If you don't want to get hurt, stay back. Stop this! Hmm? Don't even think about touching them! Childish flailing. You shouldn't try to move while you're recovering. Now, break the seal and summon the dragon. <laughs> what should I do? There's no way I can beat him. Why do you hesitate? <laughs> hmm. So that's how you open it. Quite the contrivance she's put together. I knew she was schooned, but even so. So you did know my mom? We've met.
But where? Please! Enough of your mother. Now we talk about the Shining Dragon. Why he's with you instead of her, I can't fathom. But I'll have my answers soon enough. Release him. Now! Or else, I'll just have to coax him out myself. So fast! You're radiant! Whoa there! So it's you. Watch where you're swinging that thing! Genus? Kirika, fancy bumping into you. What's this guy's problem, huh? I should hope I don't have to tell you. Please, Agnum, protect his radiance. His radiance? Oh, so this is the guy? Out of my way, Agnum. I'm not here for you. Only the dragon. Yeah, nah, I can't let you do that. I'm not taking another step as long as you've got that sword in your hands, you hear me? You? Very well. I'll cut you down, then return my attentions to the Shining Dragon. Come. Oh, you wanna go, huh? Alright, I've got time for a round or two. The man whose music burns like wildfire. You know who it is, babe? I'm Agnum Bulletheart, the Pyro Maestro. Get a load of these beats and try not to get burned, kids. Genus. Let's just call it a day. If we keep this up, one of us is gonna get hurt for real. <laughs> As you like. 
Well, hold on. I didn't think you'd actually agree to that. Why the sudden change of heart? Never you mind. His life was never my objective here anyway. Even if you hadn't happened by, it's not as though I was going to kill him. Maybe if he could see past his own cowardice, I wouldn't have to resort to such dramatics to lure out the dragon. <sighs> but if you dragoneers are so intent on keeping the whelp under your wings, so be it. There might still be time. Yes. I can already hear the strains of the last song. The last song? The hell are you talking about? Farewell. Hey, hold up! And he's gone. Well, that was... a thing. Hey, kid. You okay? I'm okay. Uh... Agnum. I'm one of Astoria's Dragoneers. Same as Kirika and Rena. I'm Yuma. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, you bet. Crazy coincidence, though. Contracts from town started drying up, so I figured I'd swing by here, help map the frontier out. Didn't even enter my mind that guy would be skulking around here, too. <laughs> Color me surprised. Honestly, who does that genus think he is? How dare he even lay a finger on his radiance? Yuma, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What about you? Can you move? Yeah, I can put my weight on my feet a little. Sorry I'm not being much help. You're fine. If anyone's apologizing, it should be me. I didn't do anything. Just stood there in shock. It's okay, really. Don't hold yourself responsible. I said I'd help you out, but I've just been dragging you down every step of the way. Yuma. Yo, maybe postpone the pity party until something actually bad happens? Nobody's dead. Nobody got hurt. That's a good day for us. But... We'll talk about your dilemmas more after we hit town, okay? Uh, okay. Thank <laughs> you.